You've mm -hmm. been working at this for, since 1975. It's a long time. How close would you say Bridgewater is to being, if you will, the perfect machine? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Perfect is, uh, there's so many years, uh, there's so many development. I don't, I don't, it's, you know, it's a tough question to answer. Um, I think, you know, I don't know, halfway there. Or <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how to answer the question. Well, let's, really. let's think about it in a different way. Mm -hmm. What's left to do? What's left to improve? How could it be better? It's like um, DNA. You know, we individually, our responsibilities were vessels for our DNA, but the DNA continues. So when I think of Bridgewater, I think that there, it's as much the next generation and the next generation after that, and it's cause-effect relationships. And so I think that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a multi, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> but we're just coming, if you will, toward the end of the first generation? Is that where we are in Bridgewater's lifespan? Yeah. We're at the end of the first generation, and that's the beauty of it. That's the transition. You know, uh, what I mean is, for me to have watched the development of the people that I'm working with, uh, Bob Prince, 31 years, Greg Jensen, 21 years, um, hundreds of people, and I feel like a parent of a 40-year-old. And to watch that transition is a beautiful thing. To watch them succeed is a, such a beautiful thing. So it, yes, it's, it's the transition from one generation to the second generation, and to see it as a perpetual motion machine. It's nice to hear someone in your position talk about his company and his employees as if they were part of a family. But people from the outside look at Bridgewater differently. And you've been very sensitive to some of those comments and criticisms and perhaps misperceptions. How would you describe this company? Bridgewater is an idea meritocracy in which the goal is to have meaningful work and meaningful relationships. And to do that through radical truthfulness and radical transparency. So, OK, idea meritocracy. The best ideas went out. Um, meaningful work. You're on a mission together. You, um, you have impact. Meaningful relationships. In other words, like an extended family. That, that power of being in it together and realizing that the reward of the relationship is just as great as the reward of the uh, success of the business. But to do that by having radical truthfulness in other words, that you can say what you believe and I can say what we, I believe and that we can have processes in place to have thoughtful disagreement to get past our disagreements. And that radical transparency is the ability for people to see everything so that they don't have uh, second-hand or third-hand stories. I mean, to me, when I look at a company, most companies, uh, it looks disingenuous. And it can, well, all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, um, you know, uh, people don't say what they really think. There's all of the, the office politics. They don't know what the real story is because there's so much spin. Imagine if you can get to see everything. In other words, for most everything, it's taped for everybody to see so they can see things firsthand. To know that people can't talk behind your backs without you hearing it so that it's fit operated on first-hand basis. I mean, I think that's what Bridgewater is. It's an idea meritocracy. So in order to have an idea meritocracy, you have to do three things. The first is you have to put your honest thoughts on the table. Most organizations, people are reluctant to be honest. Okay, you have to put your honest thoughts on the table and not be offended if people do. The second is that you have to have thoughtful disagreement. In other words, you respect the fact that somebody has disagreement and that you are curious about that and you have a quality back and forth so that you can ideally come up with a better decision than you would individually because you're open-minded. Not that uh, disagreement is a source of fighting, but so disagreement is a source of coming together. And then the third thing is that you have to be able to get past disagreements in an idea meritocratic way if, you, if they remain because they're still going to remain. And 
in order to do that, um, you have to have some kind of process. We have believability-weighted decision-making. 